Hey guys, it is me Macy and today I will be doing a nail tutorial. It is a nail tutorial, but it's not like it doesn't involve nail polish. But yeah, it's a tutorial. Um this is how to apply fake nails. So you don't have to go to the salon and get your nails done. These are what the final result look like. To me, they look super natural, like just from far away. It's just like, oh, you have really pretty nails. It's not like, oh, those are really fake. But, I mean, if you get up close, you can kind of tell that there's some errors. But, um, they are applied with glue. They do not stick on because those, like, I applied these last night and those, all of them would probably, like, be stuck in my hair right now. By doing my hair this morning. I've had two fall off. But that's because with my thumb, I had to, I was trying to get something off, something, so I was really digging and, like, pushing and stuff, and so that fell off, but I reapplied that one because I had some glue, and then my pointer finger fell off, and that's why I thought I should make this video because I'm home alone and I have nothing better to do besides make a video for you guys. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. The nails that I use are the Bring the Salon Home Kiss Everlasting French Nails. This is an empty pack because I already use them. Um, but it came with 28 nails, which is awesome because me and Lydia both, like, we got... Me and Lydia went to CVS, which, if you don't know who Lydia is, she's my best friend. She was in my two... She was in my best friend tag and my Daisy Nail tutorial. Not my daily, my emoji nail tutorial, but it says the title is Daisy Nail Tutorial because it got messed up, but whatever. Um, but we went to CVS and we got these. We just got one pack because it came with 28, so we had eight extra ones, which is great. And since I bought them, I got to keep them and stuff. And it says, patient tip, rich, white tip, won't chip, crack, or wear away, so... Like, it's not like a regular nail polish that would chip. It's not going to chip. Well, at least that's what they say. And they're shiny. So, they just, I really like them. And this pack, like I said, it came with 28, which is great. The, there's one thing that I don't like about having 28. One thing that I do like. The thing that I don't like is that it's just 28. Like, you don't have, like, eight nails or, you know... It would just make more sense to do 30 to me, or, like, bring it down to 20. Just because, like, 28 is kind of a random number. But the good thing about having 28 is that, um, oh, yeah, you have plenty of extras. So if you lose, like, six, you still have, like, two extra ones. And you have plenty of sizes to choose from when you have a lot, like, 28. But like I said, me and Lydia both did one, so we used 20, so we had 8 extra. But if you were just to do it by yourself, you would be able to do... I don't know how long these are going to stay on. I'm estimating at least 4 to 5 days, hopefully. Um, so you could get a good, like, 1 and a half weeks out of that one package. You can just keep on rebuying them, and they look super natural, and I love them because I love the French tip. But I cannot master a perfect French tip. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I have three Instagrams. My main one, which is my super love one, I posted a picture like a while, like a long while back, of my French Manny. And I use stickers, and there's just like, it wasn't like a straight, like curved line, but these do have a straight curved line. It looks like you have them done in a nail salon. It looks like they put acrylic nails on you, but you really did it yourself. So yeah, um, I was talking about how there was 28 and I got to, you know, they were good. But this pack comes with 28 nails and nail glue, which is awesome because some of them, like I said, I like nail glue much better because they don't like come out in your hair and like they stay on really, really well. Like, you know, the kid ones that, you know, have like the little strawberries or like the little characters on them. They're sticky and they have like the sticky gel all over the nail. So the, so the part that like tips off, so you can see like this part that's shown at the top is still sticky. 
and that can get like stuck on a bunch of different things and that's just not good um so the glue is really great um but yeah let's get on to seeing how you apply them the nails come in sizes but it's not like a small or like a medium um oh and the pack that i got is the petite it's for petite size so smaller nails like mine um I don't know, I didn't see bigger ones, but you can of course get bigger ones or you can try to look for them. But they come like this and the biggest size is a zero, so they have little tabs at the top and they have numbers and the smallest is 13. So this is 13, so this would be like a really tiny, tiny pinky finger. And then the zero, of course me and Lydia both didn't use the zero ones or the 13s um this is the zero the one i have in my hand right now is a five because i will be doing my pointer finger i think i use like a seven for this one and i have a seven one right here but it doesn't have the tab off because this is the one that came off of my nail so i thought i would use one with a tab just to show you guys but yeah, they come like this and they have a little tab at the top so it's really easy to apply to your nails. The glue just comes in this little thing which, of course, you don't need a lot of glue so this will last you a while. So after this, you can kind of get packs that don't come with glue to maybe save you a little bit of money and just use this glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your nail, of course, turn it to the side that's going to be touching your regular nail. And I just kind of squeeze out a little bit. This is kind of hard to do without being on the table. Ah, ah. Fingers are stuck together. And this is super strong glue. Ow, this hurts. Got it. But yeah, it's super strong, strong glue, so if you get it on your nail and you touch another finger to that glue, it will stick. Like you just saw me, I was like pulling hard to try to get that glue off of my nail, and it kind of like pulled some skin off. So this, these should stay a while if you're not doing any like digging or, you know. Okay, it just got stuck to that. So you're just going to kind of squeeze it a little bit. And I just kind of go across in streaks. I don't worry. So I kind of just squeeze and I just go across like this. I try not to get it on the white part. Like you can kind of see the white part through the back of the nail. I try not to get it right there because that's the part that's sticking out. So once you have it just, you don't have to worry about it being an even coat. Once you have it spread across that, you're going to take your regular nail and you're going to spread glue across that. And I do it the same way. I just try very hard not to get it on my skin. Because like I said, it's super strong glue. Dropped it. Um, then you're just going to take your fake nail. Take your regular nail. And you're just going to press it on there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And this nail, as you might be able to see, is a little bit too big for my nail. And it is attached to my skin. But that's okay. And then you still have this tab on, which you obviously don't want to have the tab on. You're just going to push it back and push it forward and it comes right off. And then I can just throw that tab away. Now you might have some problems where there are some rigid, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can't see it, but some rigid kind of spots where the tab was. But another great thing about this pack is that it does come with this little tiny nail file along with this toothpick thing and a cuticle like pusher. Um, I forgot to say that before me and Lydia put these on, we put on cuticle cream and push back our cuticles so that our cuticles look nice and smooth and that they didn't look really bad um, like once we put the fake nail on. 
So I recommend doing that. You don't have to put cuticle cream on if you don't want, but just find something kind of flat or just take this and push your cuticles back. It's super easy to do and it doesn't hurt. So like I said, you have those ridges and these file easily, but you just take whatever you want to file. You just file it down and now it's a super smooth edge at the top. And like I said, I put these on last night and I like, and we went outside and we had a fire after we did this and they did not come off at all. Um, but yeah, these are great quality nails and you can, you know, tell people that you went to the salon and you got acrylic nails on because I posted a picture on Instagram, like I said, if you follow me about these and, um, a couple of people asked me if they were acrylic or, you know, stuff like that and like where to get them. I got mine at CVS, like I said, for around $8.00. That might seem a little expensive, but for 28 nails, that is not... For 28 nails, a glue, a nail file, which you can use for future purposes, and a toothpick and thing, and a cuticle pusher back. Pusher backer? <laughs> it's a great deal for $8, because there were some that were $8, and they only came with, like, 10 or you know 10 and they didn't even come with glue i don't think so you had to have your own glue and stuff but this came with glue and everything so this is a great pack to buy if you are looking for some big nails um i don't know if you can like put actual nail polish on this and have it stay on and not slide right off but i was thinking just in my head like i could like put some dots like just on the like right under the white part, I'm not going to. But I was just thinking, I don't know if it would stay on or if it would come off immediately or if it would just drip down or something like that. Another great thing that I love, I know this, this is kind of like a review and a tutorial, so I'm saying a lot of things that I do like about them and not so much that I don't like about them. Um, what I do like about them is that if they do fall off, you can, this is super small, so you can throw this in your purse or something or in your pocket, and you can easily take it out, put some glue on it, put some glue on your nail, and reapply it without it looking super weird or anything, and you not and you missing one of your nails, and then it just looks like they are really acrylic and in bad quality. So I do like that about them. You n normally know when they fall off, and you does come with extras so you can reapply a different one or you can reapply the same one which is what I did with my thumb and yeah I think that is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this is another they didn't ask me to do this because obviously I only have like six subscribers and nobody even knows me so like I said they didn't ask me to do this review until you guys how much I love them but I do love them and you should definitely go out and buy some because they are worth the eight dollars um I know if you're older eight dollars doesn't seem like a lot but you know when you're 11 like me and you don't have a job well okay and you don't have a job it's pretty expensive for some big nails that will look weird because you're 11 but I love them because they people like they're just super cute and yeah you should go buy them like this video please <laughs> and please 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 subscribe to my channel it will the button will be down below and yeah the like button will also be down there so click two buttons <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and bye